Hey, how's it going? And today I am excited to bring you another video on how to make a star field in Lightwave. And this is actually a fairly easy effect to do. It's actually kind of fun. Before I made this video, I was actually looking for ways to make star fields in Lightwave. And I have to say, I found a lot of them kind of frustrating. And I didn't feel like, I don't know, I didn't feel like they were necessarily that easy or looked that great. And so one thing I did is I actually ended up over here on uh, NASA's website. If you go to images, just type in HTTPS images NASA gov and then look for stars. Here's an example of one right here. And this is a star field. I mean, this is an actual picture of one. If I look at the one I came up with, let's see if I can get drag it onto the screen here. This is what I kind of ended up with. This is just one version of it, but it looked very similar to this. Now I added some blue in there for creative license because I just thought it looked better than just the black. This is kind of my inspiration for this whole thing, although there's some images of the stars that look a lot more crazy than this, but this is than this one. But this is what we're trying to create. So if you watched my previous video on how to make a planet, this is kind of where I'm starting off. So I'm gonna press D right now. We're just going to go back into single view right now and I want to go to VPR and I'm in perspective view and there's the planet that we made. So to make the star field. So if you want to know how I did that, just watch the previous video on that. And so that object is already loaded in. If we go into the scene editor, let's see what we got. I've got my planet and a light and a point light, a distant light, a point light and a camera. That's it. So to get started on this, this is really easy. And that's what I like about this particular approach. The one thing I should do is double check my camera properties and make sure that I'm on high definition. So I want to change from uh, into 1920 by 1080. And there is that. And this is all going to happen in the backdrop. We're going to go into backdrop. We're going to add environment, textured environment. And we're going to double click this. Then we're going to click on texture. And this is primarily the main window that we're going to be working in to create this star field, which is surprisingly easy to do. So we already have a layer in there. We're going to go to layer type, procedural text. Let me double click here on the backdrop for a second. I want to double check something here. But okay, I have the gradient off. Okay, I got to click all the way back in here now. Okay, so here we are. So the first thing we're going to do is to make our stars, okay? So we're, what we're going to do for that is we're going to go into our procedural type and we're going to go to crust and you can see how big these are. These probably have other applications too for making like the effect of a planet, but that's for another tutorial to fix this, to make it look more like a planet is a star is of course, all the photos I saw, the stars are white. So I'm going to go, okay, and just make it pure white. And then if I go down here to scale, these are going to be pretty small. So we're going to go 20 mm. Tw wow, look at that. You know, there's some more things to be said about this particular effect because I, I noticed you can actually create some really cool stuff here with these uh, by putting different scale numbers in. And there's our dots coming at us right there. So, of course, that's a lot of dots right there. Now, for coverage, we're going to go real small on this and we're going to go 0 0.009. And of course you can play around with these. You see, we're already kind of getting the, the effect there, right? And we're just going to leave these on the default and that's it. And you can play around with these numbers. I mean, you could make this number even smaller. I suppose you can make it point one. Let's see what that does for us. Not that much, so uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, just to create. And you see, even with just this one, there's quite a bit of variation in there already, which is that one. Okay, so there's that one. Then we're going to go Add Layer, Procedural, and we're going to do another crust here. And this one is going to be even smaller size these so the scale on this is going to be three you can just type in the three 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 the coverage on this is going to be point zero 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 five okay and then we're going to go for ledge level uh, point zero seven 
and then for ledge width we're going to put in 0.15 okay and that's essentially the star field right there now we can i want to i don't like it just black so what we're going to do for that there's a couple more things we can do so let's go add another layer and this is just creative license on my part we're going to go to turbulence and we're going to drop the layer opacity way down to like 3.5 and then we're going to change the color to blue a darker blue like that it's a pretty dark blue but it adds this nice kind of hue maybe that's a little too dark they come up a little bit yeah like that i think it's better and this adds up just a real nice uh, bluish so here we're going to add contrast to 20 and leave everything else the same. And there's that. Then we're going to go add layer again. We're going to go procedural. And this time we are going to add fractal noise. So let's go add that. And then the opacity comes way, way, way down on this. We're going to go 1.5. The color again is this kind of a darkish blue. So we'll go there. And again, it just adds this real, what I consider to be kind of a real nice effect on there. And then uh, what else we got here? I think that's it that we do for our star field. Of course, nothing's carved in stone. You can play around with all these settings. You may come up with something that you think looks a little bit better. And then there's only one other thing that I would do. You know, I notice if I go onto my light, because my light is white, I might, let's see what happens with that. Uh, there's two lights here. Well, I don't want the point light, but let me get the uh, distant light. Let's just see what happens if I kind of give it a lighter, a little bit lighter blue. Yeah, it's a little bit better, right? It gives it a little bit. You can play around with your lighting and stuff like that. I'm noticing I'm getting a little bit of a... Oh, it went away. Great. Fantastic. And then the last thing is if I go into camera... We can always punch in on this thing a little bit, make sure I am on camera. And let me go into camera view. Now, I did notice this thing when I was looking at it before. What I needed to do for that was go to camera and just kind of get that out of my... I'm not exactly sure what's causing that. So if you have any insights into that, please let me know. And this is essentially what I finally ended up with. So I may have to, all those, uh, that little bit of noise there seems to be going away. So this is what I finally ended up with. There's one last thing I would do, and let me do that, is if we go into backdrop, and we go to processing, and we're going to come down here to image filter, we're going to go to glow, and you can play around with this. You might want to bump this up a little bit. Let's, uh, not too much, but let me let me render out a quick frame and see what that looks like if it's looking too weird or something like that. So just go to render and render frame. But it's just one of these things that you gotta play around with. I think the other thing I might add is actually some some kind of clouds or fog or something in there to add a little more volumetrics to it but just for like a, a basic star field with the planet I think it looks pretty cool so I'm going to skip ahead here <laughs> it was looked like it was taking a while but all of a sudden it, it looked like it had a minute under two left and then it say it took a minute and eight seconds but it said like three minutes and right at the last second it went Phoosh. and there it is I I don't know I think it looks pretty cool I think the only thing I would add is some kind of volume metrics to that, but I actually think that was pretty, pretty dang good, actually. So, you know, you go save as, and you can save that as a still and all that. And that's basically how you make a star field. So if you know a way of making it that's even better than this, please feel free to share. This is just real quick and easy, and I think it gives you a nice basic effect. And it actually looks very close to some of the photos that NASA actually has, except it's not, I don't have my a little bit of blue mixed in there but i think it looks a lot better with that in there and that's it i hope you found this enjoyable and uh, have a great day and i will talk to you next time take care